Hello, hello, this is Chris Park from Arkin Games. Uh, I'm here to show you, in case of emergency, release Raptor. This is the second beta, uh, no, demo really, um, of the pre-alpha version for press. Um, right now what I'm showing you is actually the level editor. Um, this is something that uh, has been consuming a lot of my time in the last little while. Um, our release is delayed slightly um, instead of coming out on the 5th, which is, as of this recording, two days from now, uh, we're aiming at the 8th instead. So uh, not a crisis, but it was something where uh, I needed some extra time to get a lot of things in tip-top shape, and the level editor here is one of those things. Um, I had not planned on making... Uh, my own level editor, but um, what I was finding was that for purposes of the um, um, pieces of the procedural levels that we're seeding, I really needed this sort of um, power that is um, in the new level editor that I've made based on components from a whole bunch of other people's uh, level editors and some custom stuff and so forth. Um, it's quite powerful, um, and it's something that has a bunch of features that the Unity one doesn't. It also doesn't have the lag that the Unity one has, and, um, you know, it has a bunch of, uh, you know, snapping and uh, ability to turn things on and off quickly, and uh, it's got a nice serialization format that is nicely future-proof so I can easily... Uh, make changes to the data structure in the future without accidentally borking all the old <laughs> all the old things. And um, this also has a bunch of stuff in place for easily setting up and testing um, my own custom things, such as the waypoints for uh, my own um, level, or for my own um, AI um, system here. This shows the uh, influence zones of each waypoint and then the waypoints themselves and they uh, auto-connect themselves. And then the reverb zones and so forth as well, which these are a part of Unity, but this is a much easier way of setting them up and visualizing them. And um, you can also mess with the occluder zones, which is something for my own custom occlusion system, as well as something that uh, then plays into how the doors and other things like that get used in um, creating a um, um, custom uh, procedural level. And um, anyway, so I just thought I would kind of show this off. This is also super quick and easy to play test. Um, in this particular example, I've got the uh, waypoints showing, so you can see their connections, and you can see uh, how all that works, which is a nice way to verify what's going on. Um, one thing that you will notice is that this is now a first-person game, which is um, something that I think is really cool and um, really gives a lot of immersion that I was personally feeling was lacking uh, from the third person view. Um, that said, um, this has been out for a couple of days with some of the press who have been um, looking at the at the new build. And um, the reception to the first person has been mixed. Some people really like it. And some people are like, hey, the third person view feels natural to me and is something that I expect you know you showed it and it and it just made sense to me you know and um, and I can see that um, I'm really pleased with how this first person view um, works you do have the raptor right over there on the side so that you actually get a sense of seeing the raptor but the view is centered so in a lot of respects it's kind of like a first person shooter the raptor is your gun um and um i've even added a little aiming reticule because some folks were commenting that that was needed um all that said because of the feedback of folks there um it's become clear that even though i still think um this is a better way to play most of the time and is a 
for me, it just feels neat. I, you know, I feel like I'm, I am the Raptor more. Um, this is something that hasn't gone over with everybody. <laughs> um, and um, yeah, I'm playing super sloppily, as you may notice. Um, at any rate, so I'm going to have both modes. Um, there are a number of problems with the third person mode that the first person mode solves, such as the ability to aim. Um, that refers to the slap shots and so forth. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to handle that. Um, aiming the lunges is something that you can do now, like uh, in the first person mode, which is super useful. Um, but that's something that uh, I'm not sure exactly how uh, to handle that in the the lenses part is actually fairly easy in third person because nobody's going to care. Uh, the way that it worked before, it's kind of a Super Mario 3D World sort of approach, and that works. So in the third person view, I'll have it work that way like it always did. And in the first person view, um, I feel like this gives you some extra control and it's pretty cool. Um, you won't have or need a reticule in the third person, and you can turn it off anyway. Um, the um, aiming that you're able to do um, when you're in the first person here is something that um, this bit, I don't know, because before it was auto aiming right back at the um, right back at the robot that you're fighting. And that's something that just makes it too easy. So either this will be something that's just less effective in third person, or I'll have an option to turn on the auto aim, or possibly when people want to, um, you know, I'm gonna make it so that people can, at just the press of a button, probably on the keyboard and mouse, make it tab and then make it some other button that's really convenient on the uh, uh, game pads. Um, so at the press of a button, they can switch between which mode they're in anyway. And when that's the case, um, maybe if you want to get into a slap fight with shots, um, and maybe that's when you switch to first person for a little bit. Um, cause you know, I could see myself switching to third person for some bits and then first person for others. I mean, there's, there are a number of games that do that sort of thing. Um, so, eh, we'll see. Um, first person has let me really get around a number of collision issues and some other various things with rendering. Um, in the third person, there's only so well that can be handled. Um, and that's just... We'll see. I'll do what I can, and it'll evolve over the course of... Uh, uh, early access and you know we'll see how that turns out um, you know it'll be at least as good as it already was and it was very fun to play but there was a certain lack of polish to certain parts of it before um, one of the things is there's a Cinemachine um, game rig that is coming up and um, that is a um, really cool thing from some former EA uh, or Electronic Arts I uh, shouldn't use that acronym with uh, talking about early access as well you know, some former uh, Electronic Arts guys are creating that based on some of their experience and um, they I've used some of their other stuff they definitely know their, know their business um, so possibly I will uh use the game rig uh, that they're setting up in the third person. Maybe that'll solve some of the last problems that I have that have been intractable. Um, but we'll just we'll just see. Um, at any rate, um, I think having the choices is a good thing, but it's not what I was originally intending. Uh, I wasn't really trying to make more work for myself. But I do think that there's a um, contingent of people that would be dissatisfied with the way the controls were in the third person camera the other way, but where first person makes a whole lot of sense. And for those people, 
I think this is a a really nice option for the people that really like the kind of more arcadey feel of the other thing and being able to see the raptor more. Um, I get that, you know, and and hopefully, um, hopefully this can make it so that both groups enjoy the game and there's not um, whatever ill feelings about, you know, oh, I've got all this camera control that I have to do. I don't like that sort of thing. I'd wish it was first person. All right, well, there's first person, you know, or, oh, the first person feels awkward. I really wish it was third person. Okay, well, there's that. So, um, anyway, um, a number of the improvements that I made to the game as part of making this first person are things that will actually improve the third person game too. So I am pleased about that because it means that this wasn't like some giant waste of time on my part. Um, so <laughs> that's always uh, a welcome thing. Um, anyway, so I just wanted to give a quick update and um, the I'm using a different screen recording software this time. So hopefully this comes through to good resolution uh, all that sort of thing. So, um, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Thanks.